What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today's video is going to be about the Copperhead and they are scientifically known as the Achistrodon Contortrix and this is a venomous pit viper native to North America. So Copperheads typically range between 24 to 36 inches in length and their coloration can have a distinct pattern of alternating light and dark bands along their body and their background color can vary from pinkish tan to a coppery red giving them their name. Their head is distinctly triangular with a coppery colored top and distinct facial pits which are heat sensing organs hence the name pit vipers so just an organ in between the eye and the nostril that they use to sense thermal heat coming off of prey items and they also have vertical pupils, which are another characteristic of the pit vipers, kind of like cat eyes. They are generally solitary and crepuscular, meaning they're most active during your dawn and dusk periods, and they are ambush predators and like to lie and wait for their prey to pass by and strike and consume them. They primarily uh, eat rodents, amphibians, insects, and other small vertebrates, and they do possess a venom that is hemotoxic, meaning it primarily affects your blood and tissues while their bite can be painful and dangerous, fatalities are very rare and medical treatment is crucial if you're bitten. They give birth to live young rather than laying eggs, meaning that they're ovoviviparous, another term that I always like to add in here as always, and this means that they can reproduce during a means of just internal gestation of live babies and whenever they're ready to hatch, they just poof them all out and there you go, boom. Copperheads are not listed as endangered species, but their populations can be threatened by habitat destruction and road mortality. They are often confused with other venomous snakes like your timber rattlesnake, cottonmouth, and other non-venomous snakes like your eastern milk snake and uh, corn snakes, I think, as well. Uh, but remember, if you encounter a copperhead snake in the wild, it's important to keep your distance. Not, do not provoke or handle it as they can deliver a venomous bite if they feel threatened. So definitely leave this up to the professionals, as our friend here is getting all up in the Kool-Aid. See if we can't get you guys just a little bit better view. And slide our lights and stuff up, because he's like right here in the front of the cage. I don't know what be wrong with him, man. They always be acting like this. Now I think we're ready to go ahead and get our mouse friend in here. This is the little bit bigger one. We'll feed him the little bit bigger of the mouse here. Hopefully everything will go okay. I'll try to throw this guy a little further back up in here. And of course, a mouse goes somewhere we do not want him to go. This is just gonna be a crazy feeding video here. Let me grab my tongs. Let's see if we can ascertain the appropriate. All right, let's see if we can get him to come out here now. Whoa. Oh no.
This little mouse is just going all over the place. This is not turning out how I want it to be. It's normally pretty straightforward. Now we gotta do all this extra work. So guys, let's uh, there we go. We got a good strike that time. That's what we wanted to see. Good God, this mouse has been making us rummage and fumble around like we are a novice at this. That's what you get, Mr. Mouse, all this extra work. But it's all good. We got what the desired effect that we wanted and an awesome strike nonetheless. Sorry about all the beeping. My fiance is out on a work trip, so she's texting me to see how I'm doing. But make sure you guys check out those links I got down in the description because I got a lot of cool stuff in there from Reptile Highs merchandise, accessories, some substrate, light fixtures, lights, other things like that, especially with holidays coming up and birthdays and things, be some awesome presents. So make sure you guys check that out. All right guys, so this is Copperhead Baby Numero Dose. We got another decently sized little mouse for this one. And this one's been growing like he's probably about to go through shed soon. So let's see if we can't coerce our mouse friend to go this way too as well. from me. Ooh. Quick strike. Quick get some strikes. He'll light you up again now. You, keep, you mess around with him if you want to. Think that he ain't playing with you. He don't play. You can see that venom take effect to him real quick because he got him all over the place now. So our goal is to keep our mouse friends close by so that way they can eat them pretty easily and get used to feeding this thing. I mean, even though we've been doing it for a little while, sometimes they want to act a little finicky. So always reinforcing the same thing of what you kind of want them to do. Kind of helps to get it cemented in their head. Some of them get with the program, some of them are harder than others, but as long as you get them to eat one way or another, I feel like that's the, that's the main kicker with that one right there. You know what I mean? So, I think we're all done with that, so let's go ahead and time lapse this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all those links we got down in the description, as always, because there is some awesome stuff in there for all your reptile needs.